I'm Kate O'Brien, and today I'll be making my favorite apple pie recipe to get you ready for Thanksgiving. So first I'm gonna start out with peeling and coring four to five pounds of apples. Now that we have our apples already peeled and cored, it's time to put in some ingredients to let the juice release from the apples. So first we have sugar. Next, cup of brown sugar. And then finally, we have one teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg, cardamom, allspice, and ginger. And then last but not least, a pinch of salt. And I'll mix that all together. Now while we wait for our apples to settle, time to take care of the pie crust. First, we're gonna grease our baking dish. And then we'll slice open our pie crust. And now that the pie crust is all set inside the baking dish, it's time to start making the lattice that'll go right across the top of the pie over the apples. And now we're gonna take the other half of our pre-made pie crust and cut it into lattice for the top of the pie. So you wanna unroll this first, lay it down right here on some parchment paper, and then start slicing. And now that the lattice work for the pie crust is cut, we'll leave it here to wait until we put the apples inside the pie. And now we're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Now that all the juice has released from the apples, we have a nice syrup at the bottom of our bowl right here, and we're gonna pour in some cornstarch to make sure the apples don't stick together while we're cooking. Once your cornstarch is all mixed in, you're gonna take your apples and you're gonna layer them all around the bottom of the pie crust dish. And we're just gonna put our last few bits of apples in. And we're gonna take all this nice juice that we've collected, it's a nice syrup now with all the brown sugar in it. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna pour it right over the top. And now it's time to put some crust on top of the pie. So we already have our lattice cut right here. We're just gonna layer it over the top. Now that we have the lattice over the top of the pie, we need to cut off any of the excess so it doesn't stick to the dish. All right, and now that this part of the pie is all set, we're gonna do a nice egg wash over the top. So we have one egg already mixed up over here. And then we're gonna take this and just lightly brush it over the top. This will make the pie turn a nice golden brown. Make sure you brush it on nice and thin. And now that our egg wash is all set on top of the pie, we're gonna take a little bit of turbinado sugar and we're gonna sprinkle it on top. This will also make it nice and tasty as well as a bit golden brown. We'll just grab one more little pinch of sugar for the top of this and we will put it in our oven. Besides apple pie on Thanksgiving, I love having mashed potatoes. My dad makes the best mashed potatoes. They're nice and smooth and just absolutely delicious. I'm not a big fan of turkey myself. I'm definitely more of a fan of the sides on Thanksgiving. And now it's time to let it sit in there for 75 minutes. So now make sure you have your oven mitts on so you don't burn yourself while getting the pie out of the 400 degree oven. We'll open it up. And voila, she looks beautiful. So as you'll see, it turned out to be a little bit more of an apple pie crumble, but that's okay because as you see, we do have some ice cream right here and ice cream does indeed make everything better. <laughs> For Hofstra Today, I'm Kate O'Brien and this was my apple pie recipe. Back to you.